So many times we see coaches on the ball field and they take the biggest bat they possibly can and they're tossing balls up and they're swinging and they're barely hitting them. They're hitting rockets at their players. You don't need this guy to hit fungos. Sometimes you can use this guy to hit a fungo or you can use this guy to hit a fungo or lastly, you could even use this guy to hit a fungo. So here are our top five ways to hit money fungos. This drill, we're gonna use a fungo. Now, when you're tossing a fungo, when you're tossing the ball to yourself, you wanna make sure that you're tossing the ball a little bit even with your, with your left knee so when you toss it out, it's in front of you so you're making contact and swinging out in front. So many guys toss the ball back here and then they can't, they can't hit the ball that way. You wanna make sure that when you're tossing the ball up, you're holding the bat in your right hand, you're choking up a little bit so you have good control over it, rest it on your shoulder, take the ball, toss it up, and take a nice smooth swing at it. So again, you wanna make sure you choke up a little bit, rest it on your shoulder so the bat's up, take it with your left hand, and as you're tossing it up, you're then gonna exchange and grab it like a bat. So we're just taking a nice, easy, smooth swing. Boom, 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 boom. All right, coaches, our next best way to hit money fungos, we're gonna work on hitting fly balls versus ground balls. So just like Duke had mentioned before, making sure that we're tossing the ball up in front, whenever we're hitting fly balls, we wanna toss the ball up in the air a little bit higher. I'm trying to make contact on the way up, and I'm trying to hit this ball up in the air. So I'm gonna make contact about chest height with this fungo here and I'm trying to hit fly balls to my outfielders. So again, choked up a little bit. Coach Duke likes to use his right hand. I like to use my left hand. Gonna have a little bit better barrel control choked up. I'm gonna toss it up a little higher, and I'm trying to make contact up and out in front of me. Now when I'm hitting ground balls, I'm gonna toss the ball a little bit lower. So I'm gonna try to make contact about knee height. If I toss it too high, now I'm hitting choppers right into the ground. So I wanna make sure I toss it low, I make contact out in front, and I'm hitting good ground balls to my infielders. Nice and low, I'm staying low, I'm trying to stay down through it. So high fungos, pop flies, we're gonna toss it higher. When we're trying to hit ground balls, we're gonna toss it a little bit lower. The next way to hit money fungos is we take a small bat. We call it the Bam Bam Bat, it's just a little league bat. You can use a T-ball bat, you can use anything you want. You can do it stand up or kneeling down and I'll show up both ways. Some people use their, their top hand and toss the ball. Coach Steve likes to use his bottom hand and toss the ball. Whatever you'd like, it's an easier thing to control. It's a little bit, little bit simpler. You just toss the ball up. You're gonna toss it out in front about, in front of your left knee. You don't wanna toss it back here and hit it down this way. You wanna toss it out in front and you're just gonna take your time. Again, it gives you more control. It's a little bit easier to do. You can either do it standing up or you can do it kneeling down. You kneel down on your right leg, you put your left leg out, you do the same exact thing with the toss, you're gonna toss it out in front and you're just gonna kind of throw your hands down so the ball's gonna go in the ground. So pretty simple, it's an easy way to, to hit fungos. You use the small bat, just makes it a little bit easier to control. That's a good way to hit money fungos. All right coaches, our next best way to hit money fungos we're not even using a fungo, we're using a tennis racket. I have a smush ball here and I have a tennis ball. If you're that coach that really struggles to hit pop flies, right? Sometimes we swing and miss, sometimes we pop them straight up. Grab a tennis racket, there's nothing wrong with this. Major league guys do it, college players do it. It's also a fun way to add in some pop fly, some bare hand work with your infielders or outfielders at practice. So real simple, I got a tennis racket in my right hand, I'm gonna start with a tennis ball, I'm gonna toss it up and I'm just gonna hit nice easy pop flies. If you've got younger players, you know, maybe they're afraid to catch a ball, we don't wanna hurt them, you can, you can use a smush ball. This thing can hit them right on the head and it's not gonna hurt. So same idea, and I'm just working hitting pop flies just like that. It's a lot easier to control, all right, than trying to hit it off a bat. If you're working on pop flies with your catchers, same idea. We're just gonna pop it straight up in the air like this, and our catchers are gonna work underneath it. So again, don't waste time at practice swinging and missing, miss hitting balls. Grab a tennis racket, a tennis ball or a smush ball, and get your work in today. If you're a mom or a dad in the backyard, a little league coach, whatever kind of coach, this is another way, a little bit more challenging, but a little more fun. I'm actually gonna take a glove and a bat at the same exact time. Get a smaller bat that you can control. I'm just gonna toss it up with my glove. Same thing, even with my front knee, toss it up, hit it, and then I can just catch it when he throws it back. That way we're not only working on the ground ball, but the actual player can throw the ball back if we're by ourselves. So I hit it. I'm getting ready, 
and I catch it. I can hit fly balls, ground balls. You can see how I'm hitting it nice and smooth, nice and easy. I'm not swinging really hard. It's just I'm letting the barrel do the work. And we're just having some fun playing ball. That's another good way to hit money fungos. All right, coaches, those are our five ways to hit money fungos. And don't forget, if you like this video and want to see more videos like this, subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time. Dominate the diamond.